Hello, my name is Joseph Shagwa. I'm going to be your first term student services advisor. And today we are going to learn the following things. How to log into your classroom using your correct username. How to retrieve your password if you forget it. How to set up your settings and verify that they are correct. And how to set up your notifications. Let's start off by being on the correct browser. We recommend that you use Firefox as it is the most compatible with our Canvas learning system. Now you want to go up to the web address bar and type in the web address, which is https colon forward slash forward slash chcp dot instructor dot com forward slash login. Once there, you'll see this screen. You'll see two boxes, one for email and one for password. And right now, I would recommend that you save this to your favorites by clicking the star. Here you can put the name in, and once you've completed that, you press done. This is an easy way for you to access your system without having to remember the web address. Now, although it says email address, I want you to put your first name dot your last name. And since you're a new student, your password will be password, all lowercase, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. If you forget your password, go to the don't know your password link and enter the email address that you use for your admissions process. Note that if you do not receive the email within a couple of minutes to check your junk or spam folder. Now let's go back to the main page and let's begin. Here you will see the main page of your learning environment. For now, let's focus on the settings. In the settings, you'll see a couple of different items. You'll be able to change your full name, which is used for grading, your display name, which is used for discussions, messages, and comments, and your sortable name. If you would like, you can change your full name or your display name. On the right-hand side, you'll be able to add different methods of contact. Here, you can enter your cell phone number, select your carrier, and that will send a code for you to enter. Once you've done that, click register and it will send you and you'll be able to get text messages about updates to the system. Also, you'll be able to edit your settings. You can also change your password by clicking the box here, entering your old information and your new password. Now let's look on the left hand side at notifications. Here, you'll be able to get notifications about your course activity, discussions, conversations, scheduling, group, and alerts. Also, you'll be able to customize how frequently you receive them. So you can be notified right away, notified daily, or weekly. I would recommend that you are notified daily, especially on the discussion post. Another way to customize the system is to add a picture and you can do so by clicking on the settings button again to get you back to the main settings page and to click on the little icon here. There you'll be able to upload a picture and students will be able to see what you look like and you'll be able to look, see what your fellow classmates look like as well. If you have any questions or need help, click the help tab. There you'll be able to ask your instructor a question, search the Canvas guides, report a problem, call the Canvas hotline, or chat with Canvas support. I hope this has helped you get started with the Canvas learning system. If you have any questions, please contact Student Services and your Student Services Advisor. Again, this has been Joseph Shagwa, your first-term Student Services Advisor.